A special report from CNBC, Dow 10,000. It looks like we are making history on Wall Street today. The first time the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed above the 10,000 mark. Up 83 points, about the high for the session. First time ever above 15,000 for the Dow and a new high for the S&P. We do expect the Dow to crack 20K for the first time in its 120-year history, and it is done. For the first time ever, the Dow Jones Industrial Average has closed above 25,000. It's the fifth thousand point mark we've crossed in just the last year or so. Never gets old, David. Uh, some of those <laughs> yeah. milestones, right? No, they don't. I, mean, I know I, you like the archive footage. I love the, yeah, I'm sorry we didn't see more of it. Um, I also like to point out the Dow is a statistically irrelevant index. And I also like to point out, of course, Mike, as you know, simple math and percentages. So clearly sure. it gets smaller and smaller percentage wise in terms of the gains we need to hit these milestones. Which is why we only make a fuss at on the 5,000 point increments. Now. Right. I mean, it's Instead not like 1, the old thousand now. points. Got it. Um, what is interesting, and it, it almost never have you been able to look back and say that a big round number thousand point threshold was, you know, a major turning point, a, a, a peak. But the 25,000 one is, is interesting just in terms of the cadence of the market right now. It's early 2018. Uh, there's been market been barreling higher for a year and really did just slice right above it and, uh, you know, without any trouble of 20, uh, 25,000 in January of 2018. That's when everybody was very bold up. You started to see a lot of the sentiment stuff you're seeing now goes back to 2018 in terms of bullishness, in terms of the extended nature of this of this little short term ramp. And it wasn't like some cataclysm after that, but it, it peaked in late January. You were contending with that level of 25,000 for a long time thereafter uh, throughout that entire year and beyond. So, you know, just something to think about as you have the sort of mental accounting of where we are uh, in all this stuff, uh, Carl. All right. Uh, of course, uh, Kramer tried to encapsulate what uh, the number itself does to sentiment and what the prospect of visible vaccine distribution does for the market in the months to come. Here's what he said last night. I think that what's happening is there is a happy days are here again, somewhat justified, because if we can get this thing under control, it is going to be like the end of prohibition. <laughs> That's a, that was a big day, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet it was. 1933. I'm not sure everyone was thinking about buying stocks, but it was a big party, yes. <laughs> I'm going to party. Um, yeah, we'll sure. keep an eye on that. Obviously, uh, there's a lot more wood to chop uh, between here and there, uh, as, as we all know. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.